Hey guys, welcome to this video. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we are going to learn about branded domains for high level sub accounts. What that means is if you have a sub account in your Go High Level Agency account, that sub account comes with forms, surveys, you can create calendars, you can create invoices, templates, a lot of things in that sub account, right? So, what happens is those sub accounts have a gray label a domain. For example, if you're like, if I have a CRM and I have added the white label domain crm.homeservicemastery.net. I have links.homeservicemastery.net as my API domain. All those sub accounts inside this agency account will have the links.homeservicemastery.net URL, right? That's the domain these subdomains are gonna adapt from the agency level. That has actually changed. And I would say this is a significant improvement or upgrade guys because previously what used to happen is i've faced this in the past because when you have the agency level api domain in your sub account and the sub account is sharing that domain and it's also sending emails from that sub account most of the times because of a domain mismatch because you've connected your dedicated domain in smtp at the same time you have a different domain for api so these actually get spammed that's why they have changed it now if you can see what it's written here i'll just make this a bit bigger to mitigate this issue and empower our user with more control we have implemented domain customization at the sub account level so now each agency or sub account can add its own unique brand domain so if your client has like uh, awesomeroofing.com you can have your client's domain like links.awesomeroofing.com inside that client's sub account so this domain will be used only by the client and no one else and that way the clients emails and you know those stuff don't get spammed or anything and it also removes the gray labeling like they won't know what agency account they're using or under you know with email templates invoices forms other outbound links you know all those things trigger links and etc so this is still a new feature and i'll just show you how to connect that right so all you need to do is go to settings this is my own account i'm showing in uh so you will see a thing called branded domain and here you need to just uh i'll, I'll use mine so i'll just say links dot see.com and here i need to create a subdomain and add a new dns record under this domain so i'll, I'll just show you right so i'll copy this links dot ashaseep.com you could have anything like abc.ashaseep.com anything you know considering that's your client's domain so i'm gonna go with links and here uh i'm gonna go to my website's dns zone i know i've talked about it a lot in the past so i'm not gonna go over that again so here in uh, come to your zone editor and just add this as a cname record and this link.messagesender.com is the cname value you're gonna put here Make sure the type is CNAME, save record. Once you're done saving, just wait for two or three minutes or sometimes like takes about like half an hour to make this live or to make this propagate properly. And when you're done, just update this. So whenever you have forms now, let's say I'm going to go to my sites and I'm going to go to my forms. So I'm going to go to website. Okay, go to this form. Here where, when I have selected copy from link, it gets changed to links.ashasi.com that I just created as a branded domain inside my sub account settings. I know the HTTPS is not live yet, but it's going to take some time, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour, depending on the hosting. So that's all you need to do, guys. And that doesn't get limited to forms or surveys that's applicable to calendar widgets. That's also applicable to invoices, proposals, lots of other stuff, trigger links, you know, all those things. Also site previews. So I don't think all those features are live yet for branded domain i mean under sub accounts so maybe it'll take some time but it'll be there i hope so make sure you subscribe if you think these videos are helpful and i'll see you the next one thank you